For us as women, fertility is unfair. So unfortunately, we're born with all of our eggs and we lose them over time. Moreover, the eggs that we're born with accumulate genetic mutations as we age. So for us as women, when we're thinking about how do we try to stop the clock and preserve our fertility for the future, if a woman doesn't have immediate plans for getting pregnant and doesn't have a partner, egg freezing is what's recommended. Once we retrieve the eggs through a very simple process done under intravenous sedation, we freeze them immediately that day. You won't use these eggs till some future date. In fact, you may not use them at all. And the idea here is to have in place a shelter against further loss of reproductive potential that age may bring. And it's also to free you to pursue whatever professional goals you may have over whatever period of time it may take. Our goal is typically to get 15 to 20 eggs. My goal is to make sure that you as the patient have all of your options covered in the future for one or two children, and that magical number of 15 to 20 seems to fill that bill. But I always tell patients this is as much an emotional journey as it is a clinical journey. And if after one retrieval you have six eggs, but you feel comfortable with that, then perhaps that part of your family building journey, egg freezing, is done. If you get 10 eggs and want more, then we can discuss a second cycle. Doing two cycles is a very safe option. These uh, stimulations and retrievals do not really pose a health threat to you. So doing two retrievals to achieve 15 to 20 is absolutely an option that we have. Yeah, so I often get questions on freezing embryos versus freezing eggs. If I have a patient who has a partner and they're planning on conceiving together in the future, absolutely it's recommended to freeze embryos. So an egg is a single cell, so it's a little bit more vulnerable through that freeze-thaw process. An embryo has over 100 cells, and so when we freeze it, it's a little bit more robust through that freeze-thaw process. And in addition, we can get more information on the potential viability of that embryo through either doing genetic testing, such as PGT on the embryo, and giving embryo a grade. In contrast for an egg that's a single cell, it's a little bit more of a black box to us. We can't really tell you about that egg's quality. All we can tell you is this is the number of eggs that we have frozen. So if a woman has a partner and they're planning on conceiving together, embryo freezing is recommended over egg freezing. For, for a woman who doesn't have a partner, um, then egg freezing is what's recommended.